Hello, Miss Kale's kindergarten class. My name is Sophia Anastasia. Do you remember a couple of months ago there was a cello player that came? His name was Nick. That's my husband. So I'm here today to tell you about what I do. Do you know what this is? A flute. Flute starts with the letter F. It's spelled F-L-U-T-E. So I'm a flute player. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the flute and its little friend, the fife. So a flute is the ancestor to this instrument. This is a recorder. It's one of the, it's the earliest flute. It's still played nowadays. It's usually made of wood. Um, but it became very more modernized and they made it into um, this, what you see here. So it's in three parts. There's a foot joint, there's the body, and then there's a head joint up here. This head joint is where I make the sound. See, there's a little hole, and I blow across it. I'll show you. It does not make a sound if I blow into it. Here's the hole. If I blow right into it, just sounds like some wind. But if I blow across it, that's where I get my sound. It's very similar to this. Maybe some of you have this at home in your recycling bins in your refrigerator. It's a glass bottle. This one's empty and cleaned out, but I make the sound of the flute very similar to the way I can make the sound of a bottle. Have you ever tried to make a sound out of a bottle? What you need is a pair of lips and some air. So this is something you can try at home. What I'm doing is I am blowing across the bottle, but also inside the bottle. So you could think of like your mouth being the size of a straw. Here's a straw. And you kind of like wrap your lips around the straw and blow. But you kind of angle it down. And you make your lips kind of like this. Here. Do you know who this is? Have you ever seen her? You see her mouth? She's kind of smiling. She's kind of not. She has the perfect flute mouth. You see that? You want to make your mouth like that. Then imagine you just have a little straw opening of air. And then You want to kind of angle it into the hole, not totally across, more into the hole. So that's fun to do. You can try that if you're home, which I know you are. So you put these three pieces together, the foot joint, the body, and the head joint. You blow across the top here. You move the keys. Different patterns and positions of fingers will make different sounds, different pitches. And you can play from the lowest note all the way on up. A lot of times in an orchestra, I play right in the center of an orchestra next to the clarinets. I mean, next to the oboes and behind me are the clarinets and the bassoon players. I play a lot of high, kind of fast, fluty things. We call those fluty things. They sound like birds. Maybe you've heard this piece. And sometimes
sometimes I play slow, more melancholy, more sad kind of music, something I played in the beginning. <laughs> See my lips? So do that kind of Mona Lisa smile. Think of a little straw in your mouth and then get your bottle. See if your parents have finished one of these or there, maybe there's one in the recycling bin. Um, I want to also introduce you to the fife. The fife is an instrument from Ireland. It is exactly like this. Just a little bit bigger. Um, this one is made of, I think, some sort of a metal. They're also made of wood. Um, the metal instruments are louder than these, than the plastic or the wood. Um, they're also going to be, this one because it's smaller, will be a little bit higher. I don't have my alto flute or my piccolo because I didn't listen to the directors and I left my instruments at my school and um, I'm not able to get them right now. But I thought I would play you a little bit of the fife. So the fife is an instrument from Ireland. They play this a lot with a drummer. Um, and it's it happens a lot around St. Patrick's Day, which you know is coming up, isn't it? Is it today? Um, so here are a couple of little pieces that you might have heard if you were at a parade for St. Patrick's Day. Another one. That was called Fairy Tale of New York. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Um, I'd love to meet you in person one day. Maybe we can do that hopefully soon. And I hope you're spending your time with your family and trying to enjoy yourself as much as possible. And it was very nice to play for you. Thanks.